If you haven't created your first college resume yet, or have, but would like to make it better, please visit www.careers.uiowa.edu slash resumes. This site will provide you with resume samples that you can edit and make your own, as well as tips and tricks for making sure your resume is the best it can be. By making sure your resume meets our minimum standards, you are helping to ensure that your resume will be approved in a timely fashion on HireHawk. The Documents tab on the left is where you can upload resumes, cover letters, student employment applications, transcripts, and other documents. Only your first resume needs to be approved in the system. This usually takes 24 to 48 hours. You will need to have an application and or resume uploaded to apply for jobs. If you haven't already, you should consider visiting the pre-advisor during walk-in hours to have your resume reviewed. During the school year, walk-in hours are Monday through Friday from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. in C310 Pomerat Center. There are no walk-in hours during the summer. When you are ready to add a document, click on Documents on the left and then click on Add New and Pending to upload your documents. From the Documents tab, you can also delete resumes and set which resume you would like to set as your default resume. In the middle of the screen, click Add New. Label your document. An example is Iowa Hawkeye Resume. And browse for the file on your computer. Choose the appropriate document type, in this case, Resume. Once you have done this, click the Submit button. To upload a student employment application, go to Help on the left and then click on FAQ and Resources. Here you will find the student employment application. Click on the link and download the file. Complete and save it to your computer. Note, you can also find this application in the Related Resource section to the right hand side of the screen on each job posting. Once you have saved the application to your computer, click on Documents, Add New, and then browse for the file. Once you save your application to your computer, click on Documents, Add New, and then browse for the file. Be sure to change the document type to Student Employment Application. If you have multiple applications or resumes, be sure to save them with a different name. Once submitted, Career Center staff will review your resume. You will receive an email letting you know whether or not your resume has been approved. Once it is approved, it will appear under Documents, Approved, on the left. All other documents will be automatically approved. If your resume is not approved, you will receive an email with suggestions for improvement. Edit your resume on your computer and then go back to Documents, Add New and Pending. Click on the resume that suggestions were made on. Click Browse to upload the new file. It is best to do this instead of going to Add New to upload your updated resume. It is highly encouraged that you add your resume to the resume book. This way employers can view your resume through our system when looking for eligible candidates for their position. Go to my account on the left and then personal. Click on the privacy sub tab. The first question asks if you would want to include your resume in the resume book. If you would like to do so, check yes. There is also a new option for you to include your resume in a book that will be viewable by over 40,000 employers across the one-stop network. These are employers that post to multiple schools. Students who have an approved default resume and have accounts that are active and not blocked or disabled are able to promote themselves to employers. This would mean that you would receive emails from employers that found your default resume through a resume book search. To promote yourself and receive emails from one-stop employers, you can either say yes to the pop-up that appears when you log in, or go to my account on the left, personal, and then privacy section, and then indicate yes in the field, promote me to employers. If at any time you want to remove your resume from being viewed, you can select no to this field in the privacy tab.